Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are safe during this time. Now, even during quarantine, we want to make sure we're still improving on our games in some which way. So in this video, we've got a little uh, 10 minute, under 10 minute workout that you guys can do either at home or in a park like myself. Now, uh, I don't have a back garden, so if you do, you can do it there as well. But I'm practicing social distancing. I'm in a park. I'm away from everyone else. I'm six feet or at least two meters away from everyone else. So I'm taking some time and some space to kind of get this workout in so you guys can do the same. Now, if you do find yourself doing this workout, make sure you record it, tag us in it. We'd love to see how you guys get on as well. Uh, and if not, save the video for later and keep it in the bag and work on it. Even memorize it and then use it anytime you can. Now, before we begin, make sure you engage in some type of dynamic warm-up, whether that be foam rolling and then a dynamic stretch or jump rope and do something to get your body and your mind ready before this workout. Now, one thing we also want to make clear is that Timmy and I aren't coaches, we're not skills trainers. These drills that we're about to engage in are drills that we picked up along our basketball journey and they work. Um, quarantine season, obviously a lot of us miss basketball but this is a great opportunity to work on our fundamentals and in this workout we're isolating the crossover through the legs and behind the back dribble and getting it in if you enjoyed this video like this video show us some love and of course comment down below what you guys think of this workout how you guys did and of course if you want to see part two and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to stay notified every time we drop a new video whether that be our comparisons performance reviews or more of these workouts. So without further ado, let's get it. Of course, we have to get into a crep check before we get started. Today, I've got on the LeBron 17s. There's a stationary ball handed in drill, so I need all that cushioning I can get. And it's one of the most cushioning shoes in the game right now. And they look dope, so there's that too. Full length Nike Air Strobe Ball by the Nike PG4s. The most comfortable shoe I have in my rotation right now. I can't take these off. But enough of that, let's get straight into this workout. Like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna isolate the crossover through the legs and behind the back dribble moves. But before we do that, we're gonna do some toe taps, some high, um, some mid pounds, then some high pounds, 10 seconds each. Do the same thing with our left hand, then 10 figure eights, and then reverse figure eights, 10 each, just to get our fingertips and forearms warm before we get jiggy. Let's do this. 10 seconds. Move around, get a feel for it. Pound. Make sure you pound the ball. get warm yeah don't be afraid to look down like I said try and stay low I haven't got the greatest hip mobility so I'm not your best example but try and stay as low as you can and try and keep your eyes up as well but of course don't be afraid to look down if you need to figure eight ten each Straight into reverse. That's one, two, three, four, five, Yeah. 
Bye. Oh, yeah, that's 10. Of course, make sure keep that H2O next to you. pH 7 plus only. Stay hydrated. Cool. Now that we've done that, we've gotten ourselves warm. Of course, don't be afraid to do each three times if you need to. I feel like you need a longer warm up. We're gonna move on to our crossovers. So we're gonna do 10 crossovers tight. That's one. We're gonna do tight crossovers and then 10 wide crossovers. Then a pound crossovers, 10 each. And then pound, double cross. Pound, double cross, 10 each. And that'll be the crossover series done. And then we're doing something similar for through the legs and behind the back as well. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. I've got taste space in the headphones right now. Tiger, do your thing. Time right now. Nice rhythm. Pound double through. Lastly, we have our behind the back moves. Okay. 
exactly the same, but this time we have the reverse. It's just behind your back, then pound, behind your back, pound, then pound, double behind your back. Like I said, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You go as hard as you can, you should pound the ball. And of course, if you do mess up, just start again. Whew. Behind your back. was it for our isolation workout of course like this video like I said earlier and comment down below if you want to see part two in part two we're combining the ISO moves that we did in part one cross over from the legs behind the back we're gonna mix it up and we'll get jiggy so that's everything from us work your kids let's get it <laughs>